Lab-grown meat, also known as cultured meat or in vitro meat, is a groundbreaking technology that aims to produce animal protein without the need for traditional livestock farming. This innovative approach to meat production has gained significant attention in recent years due to its potential to address environmental, ethical, and health concerns associated with conventional animal agriculture. The process of creating lab-grown meat begins with the careful extraction of stem cells from a living animal, typically through a small biopsy. The most commonly used cells are satellite cells, which are adult stem cells found in muscle tissue. These cells have the unique ability to differentiate into muscle fibers, making them ideal for meat production. In some cases, researchers are also exploring the use of pluripotent stem cells, which have the potential to differentiate into any cell type. Once extracted, the cells undergo a sorting process to isolate the desired cell types. This is often accomplished using advanced techniques such as fluorescence-activated cell sorting, FACS, or Magnetic Activated Cell Sorting, MAX. These methods allow scientists to separate the target cells based on specific surface markers, ensuring a pure population of cells for cultivation. The isolated cells are then placed in a carefully formulated growth medium. This nutrient-rich solution is crucial for cell survival and proliferation. It typically contains a basal medium like Dalbeco's Modified Eagle Medium, DMEM, supplemented with fetal bovine serum, FBS, or serum alternatives, growth factors such as basic fibroblast growth factor and insulin-like growth factor, and antibiotics to prevent contamination. The exact composition of the medium is often proprietary and can significantly influence the growth and characteristics of the resulting meat. The cell culture process takes place in specialized bioreactors. These sophisticated devices provide a controlled environment that mimics the conditions inside an animal's body. They maintain a constant temperature, typically around 37 degrees Celsius, pH around 7.4, and oxygen levels. Additionally, many bioreactors incorporate systems for mechanical stimulation which is crucial for proper cell alignment and maturation. To create a three-dimensional structure that resembles meat, the proliferating cells need a scaffold to grow on. Various scaffolding techniques are currently being explored. Some researchers use edible scaffolds made from plant-based proteins or polysaccharides. Others employ microcarrier beads, which allow cells to attach and grow in suspension. More advanced approaches involve 3D printed scaffolds with specific geometries designed to guide tissue formation. Once the cells have proliferated sufficiently, they need to be induced to differentiate into muscle fibers. This is typically achieved by altering the composition of the culture medium. Scientists reduce serum levels and add specific differentiation factors. Key molecules involved in this process include myogenic regulatory factors, MRFs, like MIOD and myogenin, insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, and transforming growth factor beta, TGF-beta. During this phase, the individual cells fuse to form multinucleated myotubes, which then mature into muscle fibers. The maturation of the tissue is a critical step in replicating the characteristics of conventional meat. This process involves various techniques to enhance the development of the cultured tissue. Mechanical stimulation is often applied to promote proper alignment of the muscle fibers and increase protein contents. Some researchers also use electrical stimulation to enhance muscle fiber development. Advanced systems may incorporate perfusion techniques to ensure adequate nutrient supply throughout the developing tissue particularly important as the tissue grows thicker. Despite the progress made in lab-grown meat technology, numerous technical challenges remain. One significant hurdle is the development of serum-free media. Most current protocols rely on fetal bovine serum, which is expensive and raises ethical concerns. Creating chemically defined serum-free media that can support cell growth and differentiation is a major focus of ongoing research. 
Scalability is another crucial challenge. While current methods work well in laboratory settings, scaling up to commercial production levels presents significant engineering challenges. Developing large-scale bioreactors that can maintain uniform conditions and support high cell densities is essential for making lab-grown meat economically viable. Creating thicker cuts of meat requires solving the problem of vascularization. As tissue grows beyond 1-2 mm in thickness, cells in the interior struggle to receive sufficient nutrients and oxygen. Researchers are exploring various solutions, including 3D bioprinting of vascular channels and co-culturing muscle cells with endothelial cells to form blood vessel-like structures. Replicating the complex structure of meat, particularly the marbling of fat, is another area of intensive research. This requires the co-culture of muscle and fat cells, which have different growth requirements. Achieving the right balance and distribution of fat is crucial for replicating the flavor and texture of conventional meat. Ensuring that lab-grown meat expresses the same proteins as conventional meat, particularly those responsible for flavor and nutritional value, is an ongoing challenge. This requires careful control of the cell differentiation process and potentially the use of genetic engineering techniques. Optimizing the bioprocess to improve efficiency is crucial for reducing production costs. This includes increasing cell yield, improving differentiation efficiency, and reducing maturation time. Additionally, maintaining genetic stability over multiple cell divisions is essential for ensuring product consistency and safety. As research in lab-grown meat progresses, it continues to push the boundaries of cellular agriculture tissue engineering, and food technology. The field draws expertise from a wide range of disciplines, including molecular biology, material science, bioengineering, and nutrition. While significant challenges remain, ongoing advancements bring the prospect of commercially viable lab-grown meat closer to reality. The potential impact of this technology is profound. If successfully scaled, Lab-grown meat could significantly reduce the environmental footprint of meat production, address animal welfare concerns, and potentially offer health benefits through controlled nutrient composition. However, it also raises new questions about regulation, consumer acceptance, and the future of traditional agriculture. As we look to the future, lab-grown meat represents not just a new food product, but a fundamental shift in how we think about meat production. Its development reflects our growing capability to engineer biological systems and could play a crucial role in creating a more sustainable and ethical food system for the coming decades.